It's a very miserable Sunday afternoon. Overcast, constant drizzle, and it's quite cold as well. So we're back in the greenhouse today. We're gonna to sow some more seeds. I finally got around to getting some broad bean seeds. But I bought a different one this time. The ones we had before were dwarf varieties. But this time I've got full size ones. And they're called Bunyard Exhibition. So the plan is, I'm going to sow some of these seeds in 9cm pots, so giving it plenty of room for root growth. And then we're going to transplant them into one at spare greenhouses to grow on over autumn and winter. But you can plant your seeds now outside if you haven't got a greenhouse, because broad beans are very cold hardy. But I'm going to offer them a little bit of extra protection because I've got a greenhouse spare. I also got one of these packs and it's eight different varieties of vegetables in one pack. And this one's got radish mix, so different types of radish in it. There's coriander, there's some chilies, but we'll save those till next year, along with some chocolate peppers again next year. Tomato, which are tigerella variety. We've got Mizuma mix, which is lettuce leaf. We've got a mixture of different beetroots as well, so we might try some of those. And the same of carrots. It looks like there's red, brown and orange carrots in this mix. So we might as well have a look, minus the ones that are better suited to warmer weather. But for now, I'm just going to do broad beans. I've got a little bag of compost because we've run out. Now, I've never had this one before, so I don't know what it's going to be like. But at this time of year, there's not a lot of variety of compost available, at least not round here. So I've got moorland multi-purpose compost. So we'll have a look, see what sort of quality it is. Better to be doing this in here than anything out there today. It's just not very nice. But it's quite a dark compost. And I'm not going to sieve it, at least not for these, because they're such big seeds, so they don't need it. That's the quality that we've got. And I always use multi-purpose compost. I don't go out and buy compost specifically for sowing seeds. That stuff's a lot finer, but it's also a little bit more expensive. So that's why I just sieve it myself. Save a couple of pounds, don't we? So it can't be much easier than this. Just filling them pots. And I think I'm gonna do about six or eight because then we can have a row either side of greenhouse. So I'm just pressing it down a little bit to get a nice amount of compost in. Not going too mad though. Before we plant these beans, I'll show you how I plant them. You don't have to do it like this. It's just something that I've always done. Plant them a certain way around. If you do sow any of these, don't leave your packets in greenhouse. It's the mice, I'll have a field day with them, they love them. See how many we've got. Pick out some nice big ones as well. So, quite big seeds, obviously. But if you look at these seeds, you'll notice that on one side, they've got that little mark there. That's where your roots come out once they germinate and then that top bit is just smooth that opens up and that's where your plant will come from so I always plant all these seeds with that side down because as the seeds germinate if the other way around then this plant has either got to turn up to get out of that compost or the seed will turn so for me that just takes a little bit longer so to help them along I always plant them that way so, as I've just shown you, that part down. And when you put them in, you want to push them in a good inch. You don't have to plant them like I'm planting them. You can just put them in and wait for them to come. They'll still come up. They just might take a little bit longer. And don't plant them too deep either. 
or they could rot so don't push them right down to the bottom so very quick and easy to do and that's as eight plants all set up and we have got quite a few seeds left so since we can carry on planting these all the way through November if any of these don't emerge we've got plenty of seeds and we've got plenty of time to grow a couple more and then I'm just going to pop a little bit of compost on top of each one and that's as broad beans set up for autumn and winter so that's all as broad beans set up I'll keep them in there and then I can bottom water them all at the same time but I do know what those mice are like when it comes to broad beans. So I'm going to pop one of these crates over the top. That's going to stop them digging them seeds up and eating them until they've germinated. And they're still getting some light when they do germinate. And we'll be able to see when it's time to take this off. So we don't want to be bending them stems. And tomorrow I'll have a look at those other seeds. And we'll probably sow a few more. But before I do that because they're very small seeds. I'll save what's left of that compost and we'll see what else we can get going in greenhouse over the next few weeks. And also I'm hoping that this coming week we're gonna have a few dry days because I want to get that area dug over that we cleared up the other day so we can have it ready for spring to get those brassicas in. But there's still quite a bit of work to do there. It all needs to be dug over. We need to make sure we get all weeds out and then we're gonna to have to put nets over the top of it until we're ready for planting otherwise the cats are going to think it's for them and I might even take some more of these carrots they're still flopped over like you probably saw on a previous video but all the ones we've already harvested they've all been froze and bagged and I think we can get a few more decent ones out of here as well but I'm going to resist temptation of pulling any more up today otherwise the entire container is going to end up empty and I've brought the spinach back into the greenhouse as well. It's growing so slowly. It's hardly grown at all of it last few weeks. So I'm just going to provide it with a little bit of extra warmth and just try and encourage those plants to actually do something. It is very hard work at this time of year and it might put a lot of people off with it being so damp and cold all the time. But if you stick to your cold hardy varieties, there are things that you can be growing right up until spring. But that is entirely up to you but if you're not growing anything make sure that all your beds all your growing areas outside have all been prepared ready for this coming spring and get all your containers together give them a bit of a clean out as well and then as soon as that warm weather does come everything is in place and we're ready to go but maybe i'll see you tomorrow on the next video and we're going to sow some more of those seeds we'll do some of those carrots because the multicoloured ones and again we'll grow those in here and I might even try some multicoloured beetroot as well just to see how they get on but apart from that I'm going to get some more spring onions on go as well because we have got some growing outside but they're growing very slowly but at this time of year I grow spring onions just for the green tops because they're brilliant to chop up and sprinkle on top of your salads and yeah I am still eating salads as much as the people might be sick on them by now I just like to have a little bit of side salad all the way through here if possible. So if you want to see what we're going to be doing tomorrow then please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell and I look forward to seeing you then. Take care.